Hey guys, it's Mike here for another tutorial about motion page. Today we are going to do some uh, entrance animation like those from my website. Very, very simple stuff and uh, very easy to do with a uh, motion page. The only thing we can't do is a uh, reverse effect. I hope we will be able to do it later. But anyway, so let's start to do that now. I already prepared a page with uh, oxygen. So let's do the animation. First, we select scroll trigger, we pick up our image here, and we can start to build the animation. Let's do a scale effect. Engine rotation, why not? And opacity, zero. OK. Save the animation. Let's do... Oh, let's change the toggle right here so we can repeat the animation on every scroll down. Uh, save. Okay. Let's check in the front end now. Reload the page oh, here. As you can see, the animation already already played. Shall we start again? Okay. So it's totally normal actually. It's not a bug. The reason is. Here, animation starts when element, the element is the image we pick up before, enters the viewport. The thing is, if I remove the opacity here, the image is already in the viewport after the page loads. That's why the animation already played, because it's already in the viewport, because of our scale effect here. So the thing, and it's a good practice, it's to, let's put back here, is to select another element, not the same. Go back here. We select a parent element, so here a section. Now, it means that the animation will start when the section enters the viewport and not when the image enters the viewport. If we save and we reload the page here, now it plays just when it interviews the viewport here. We can see it here too. The section is in white here. And then it starts just when it enters here. We can change uh, 100%. Right, so it's a good practice. Always select for the trigger a static element and not a moving element. Now let's try to do uh, this kind of animation here. Okay, that's kind of this kind of animation here. So we add uh, some image and the section. Okay. With um, class and duplicate. Okay. So we have three images here. They all share the same class. Pick. And okay, let's save. Let's change the maroon color too so we can see more in detail we load the page here we remove this animation oh yes we can't remove it we have to go here and delete first okay so first we select uh, work class instead of image we select the class pick a little animation here minus uh, 200 for example okay Okay, so they all move. Now we will do the stagger effect here. So the, we can uh, do some animation with some little, uh, some delay. For example, uh, three. So the animation we do will be the same animation for all, but with a little delay. Opacity zero here. Okay, not too bad change so the order 
in this part. Not bad. Um, maybe some uh, liter scale, 0 0.15. Maybe some uh, rotation here, 45, uh, 180. And like I said before, we change the uh, set trigger here. So we select the section. Let's save the animation, change the toggle, repeat. Okay. Let's stop that here. Not bad. So if you want to have a 3D effect, Actually, it's already in 3D, but there is no perspective, so we have to add the perspective here. Okay. In Oxygen, we select the class and we add a little uh, transform perspective. 700. Save it. We load here. And it's pretty cool effect. All right, so as you can see here, we can do many, many other things. Very simple without custom code. Okay, so that's it for today. See you guys.